welcome to the Sukoito Jijio, a course that takes drivers from the shores of Copacabana Beach to the vistas of Corcovado Mountain. I'm here to give you your first look and first drive of the spectacular 2017 Ford GT on the colorful streets of Brazil's marvelous city. Okay, so here we are, first race, and the countdown begins, and I forget to put my foot on the gas, and so I get a terrible start, but uh, we're off and running, and the big thing for me in this race is just to try and avoid contact with other cars. Of course, I want to win it, but uh, I want to try to keep this car clean, and because uh, I know it's trying to analyze me, I would imagine, anyway, for the drive -tar technology, and so... I want to make sure that uh, I'm a clean driver. I get a nice uh, braking and outside run here being this corner is so wide and that finally gets me by uh, some of the slower cars. Up the hill now and into the mountain tunnel we go. And we crest this hill here and I got a good late braking move but that was really only because I didn't know that corner was coming and then this guy here just brakes and for some unknown reason, I don't know why. So I got some nice uh, open territory here and just only, I think, three or four more cars to get in front of. move here the guy lets me uh, gives me a little bit of room inside I thought I was gonna hit that inside curb but I didn't and then uh, back down the hill we go and two more cars to beat course is I know it's probably only one lap but I got a nice move there but I just ha had to hold up because uh, as you can see he cut me off right there so I know I've only got this one car to beat but I don't know how many corners I got left and then all of a sudden he just starts hitting these tire barriers I'm like holy crap I uh, didn't know that uh, any of that was movable in this game so that's a nice little addition there so we're coming up on this corner here and it's one of the little double apex type things and as it would happen that's the last corner and I get the uh, last car in the last corner and we're off to the finish line here nice little fireworks there that I didn't notice uh, during the actual race and there we go Congratulations, you have completed your first race. As a veteran Forza player, you may also set up your driving assists. In the past, in Forza games, I have driven on the uh, professional level for the uh, drivers, so we got the suggested line on braking, ABS off, steering is going to be on simulation, traction, stability control will be off, uh, shifting is going to be automatic for me as soon as I get there. Tire wear is going to be on simulation, so. There's my assist. Let me know what you race with. Now I'll give you a quick primer before starting your career. Your career spans five different volumes, each built around a different type of car passion. From hot hatchbacks and vintage sports cars to grand touring cars and formula racers, you will drive and collect the greatest cars in the world. 
But first, I'll guide you through a short three-race qualifying series. Your first qualification race takes place at Lime Rock Park, known for its flowing elevation changes and rural setting. We've assembled a roster of truly iconic cars from the Super Street volume to use for qualifying. All these cars have been upgraded to be evenly matched, so choose the one that speaks to you and we'll get started. Great choice. Now let's customize it to really make it yours. These designs were created by other players in our vibrant community of painters. You can choose one to apply to your car for free. I chose this yellow theme, but uh, after Are the fact, I realized that I really didn't car? like it because you couldn't really see what it actually looked like until you get to these scenes here and you've selected it already. I probably should have just left the original color and uh, worried about uh, paint schemes later. Every race has an objective. For this qualifying race, you must finish in third place or better in order to advance. Select Start Race to begin. Powered by Drivatar technology, each driver is as unique and competitive as the players who trained them. All right, so here we go. Off to the races. These, uh, First three qualifying events were uh, rather tedious. You can see they got drive guitars in here now, and some of these people are on my friends list, and some of them are just uh, drivers that I guess they picked for me to race against. There's 24 cars in this race, and we, you can see already, once uh, once you get into a slide, it's uh, pretty tough to come out of it. Mistakes are being had though. You see a car off to the right there. Lime Rock Park. I've never raced here in my life, so I do not know this track. So I'm pretty much just uh, following cars ahead. I didn't know how fast I could get into corners or accelerate out of corners for what was after it. So uh, it's just kind of one of those fly by night things. So, one thing I did find out when. Uh, <clears throat> I was racing in this race though is when you're in the grass like right there it's very very difficult to uh, recover the car keep from spinning it out that was my first uh, one there and I uh, couldn't believe how lucky I was after the fact because I ran into situations like this multiple times where uh, the car just got sideways and I just couldn't recover it so uh, Definitely Forza 6 is a stay on the pavement sort of game. One of the things that I noticed right away in these qualifying races was that these cars would just slam on their brakes in the middle of a corner, um, like right there. Uh, it's really, really hindered me from uh, making any sort of advances. I changed my tactics over uh, several races to just try to make all of my passes on the outside because a lot of cars would cut from the outside to the inside on the corners and they would just either run straight into you or they would cut in front of you and then break all of a sudden if there was a car in front of them, like that one right there and it made it almost impossible to run the race. So um, I'm kind of on the fence about this Drivatar technology thing. I'm hoping that it gets better the more I race. I know it gave me some sort of a percentage of how I drove my Drivatar car and how much it analyzed my driving and I'm nowhere near in the amount of races that I've ran. But uh, these first three qualifying races were uh, almost enough to make me quit this game because it was just absolutely unbearable to have to deal with these cars slamming on their brakes right away and right in front of you with um, no no attention given to uh, what was around them is what it seemed so uh, I finally did make it through the three races and 
and I've advanced into the next section of the career. Hopefully it gets a little bit better. The good news is, is this is Forza and it's absolutely fantastic as far as driving physics and the feel of the game and the beauty of the game. So first impressions are I want more, but Drivatars got me a little bit scared. So it's almost like being a, a veteran racer and a bunch of rookies come in to your league and you have to deal with their new driving habits and not knowing how they're going to drive, which makes it difficult uh, for the people that have been racing together for quite some time.